All right, the next one he wants us to look at is skepticism about induction. Right. Right. So this one is about what? So uh, he says, for in addition to direct experiences, we must often reason from that experience. We frequently use our brains to reason from old beliefs about the world to new beliefs about the world. This reasoning process can take many forms, but in general, it's called inference. So uh, you're you're walking along, you come to the edge of a cliff, and you kick a rock down, and you see the rock falls. Well, if you take another step, you should induce that you will likely fall as well. Right, right. But why why should we believe that? That's the that's the issue. We right. saw the rock fall, but we didn't see us fall. Right. So right. we should just wildy coyote. As long as we don't look down, <laughs> we can keep going. Don't look down, you're good. Right. Yeah. In other words, we've never actually seen ourselves fall, or right. we've never actually seen that we will fall. Mm -hmm. If we're just basing it on our sense experience, right. which is what the skeptic mm -hmm. wants us to do, then we haven't seen the future yet, and so how do we know what the future right. will be like? So, so again, it's it's what our experience, uh, what our senses are telling us, not what uh, the science scientific process of going, well, I think this will happen. Well, then you have to test it out and, right. and senses your senses. But wait a minute. It happened the in the way. past. That's true, mm -hmm. right? But that doesn't mean anything with regard to what things change. Right. Or or, or the, what we're predicting as patterns uh, end up changing. So, it, uh, you know, when you have uh, Kepler and, and them witnessing the, the, the bodies in the sky and they go along and they go along and then they turn around back on themselves, oh, our model is telling us something different. Yeah. So just because it was going in the westward way, all of a sudden it's it's doubling back on itself, which we weren't expecting. Yeah. So why should we trust induction when things like that could occur? Right. So the, the idea of induction is it's happened before in the past, therefore probably it'll happen mm -hmm. again in the same right. way in the future. And he's questioning, if, is that a good uh, way to reason? Right. right, and 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 so if if we b live in a universe where we believe that evolution occurs, we should assume that things are changing all the time. So our brain chemistry, our our makeup, we should imagine that we're evolving into something uh, more suited for our environment. The universe could be, you know, ha having a, a a bigger hiccup in the heat death, and mm -hmm. so uh, you know uh, the speed of light could dramatically. Uh, sh shift in, in speed and things could change because of that. We could go from uh, living today to not living tomorrow. The sun could uh, all of a sudden, you know, use up all its energy or explode. Mm -hmm. There's 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 nothing really there to, to give you the confidence to say what happened yesterday should be happening today. Right. I call it, uh, it can be called the turkey problem, right? The farmer went out, per, uh, bought uh, to the market, Bought a brand new newborn baby turkey. Took took him to the uh, to his farm. Put him in the turkey. I don't know coop, pen, whatever. Put turkeys in, right? And the first day he fed the turkey, right? He went into the shed, got the feed, came out and fed the turkey. He did that the second day, the third day, the fourth day, the fiftieth day, the hundredth day. Went into the shed, got the feed, come out and gave it to the turkey, right? So the turkey, you know, is, is getting bigger and bigger. The two hundredth day, the three hundredth day, went into the shed, got the feed, gave it to the turkey. The three hundred and fiftieth day, went into the shed, got the feed and gave it to the turkey, right? The three hundred and sixtieth day, the three hundred and sixty first, second, third. On the three hundred and sixty fifth day, he went into the shed and came out with an axe. Because it was Thanksgiving. Well, of course. Yes. <laughs> and so we will be turkeys if we absolutely hold that nothing ever changes, mm -hmm. right? That's the turkey problem. Yeah. We, and that's the problem of induction. Now, he doesn't spend a whole lot of time with this because this is a pretty common problem, and most uh, philosophers, anyway, are, are aware of this particular mm -hmm. problem, right? But we do see scientists have this belief in uniformitarianism. What happened yesterday informs what happens today. They, they almost are forced to do that mm -hmm. in order to do science, and yet the, the issue he's making is we need to be skeptical about that. Right. Because there's not a good reason to believe that the future will be like the past. Right. Right?